The row over plans to expand the ultra-low emission zone known as ULES to all London boroughs has escalated again today. Hertfordshire County Council has told the mayor it will not allow any ULES signage or enforcement cameras to be put up within its boundaries. Joining me now, live and in person, the leader of Hertfordshire County Council, Richard Roberts. Good to have you aboard. And motoring journalist, Brendan Wilson, into the bargain. Explain why you won't allow it. Why are you taking this stand? We're taking this stand because I represent the people of Hertfordshire, the 1.2 million people of Hertfordshire. And in fact, I'm speaking tonight on behalf of all of the counties that surround London. Mm -hmm. And so this is affecting 700,000 motorists in London and 700,000 outside, so one and a half million motorists. Mm -hmm. Uh, the mayor is not, he has no jurisdiction uh, in Hertfordshire uh, and he wants to tax people from Hertfordshire moving into London to the tune of £12.50 and potentially a £90 fine if they don't pay it in a fortnight, £180 fine. And at this time, we've got a cost of living crisis, it's wrong. It's the wrong time, it's ill thought through and we really don't want him to go ahead with this. So by not putting up the signs, what does it mean? It means you protect your residents of Hertfordshire, but what happens when they leave Hertfordshire and they head towards the, you know, inner London? We, if this goes ahead, and there's currently a court case, a judicial review going ahead, if that happens and, uh, um, and the courts decide, yes, uh, yes, Mayor Khan, go ahead, mm. um, despite uh, all this opposition, uh, including uh, not winning the, the by-election last week. Sure. Um, uh, and uh, uh, there will be, uh, there will need to be a, a good communication exercise all around London and we'll put our own signs up. We're not going to have ULES signs. We're not going to have the mayor signs. We're certainly not going to have his cameras. But what will your sign say? Our, our sign beware. will say, beware. Yes. Beware, there's a, there's a big tax in front of you. This is a tax grab. The mayor has spotted an opportunity between now and 2030 to tax people who've got older cars, those who can least afford to buy an electric car. And he's going to tax them while he's got that opportunity. And I've heard that this will bring in about 200 million in the first year. And that's Hertfordshire residents, or Surrey, or Kent, subsidising London services. I mean, far be it for me to be the mayor's mouthpiece. It's not something I very much want to be. But, you know, he would say it's all about the air. It's all about the quality of the air that we breathe. How can you possibly oppose it, wouldn't he? And I, I have every sympathy uh, uh, with Ellie and Ellie's family uh, who suffered uh, the attack that she did. And, and that almost must, must be with us. Mm -hmm. But we, are, we have all sorts of measures in place to reduce uh, air pollution um, and other environmental uh, schemes that we have. But this is a tax grab. Let uh, me bring Quentin Wilson in on this. Obviously, he's a motoring journalist extraordinaire. There are so many people who have these cars that won't measure up and, and, and they're going to have to pay an awful lot of money. Some of them have got very little choice in the matter and, and, and they simply can't afford it, Quentin. It's really important to say that I believe that low emission uh, zones work and the ultra low emission zone in London um, has made significant benefits to air quality. I no longer have curtains that are tinged with uh, diesel particulates and we used to have to rub the walls and you would see this black film of soot on your hands. But as Richard quite rightly says, consumers are facing the worst financial squeeze for a generation and this simply is not the time. Um, it, it has to be done ultimately, and I, I think, you know, the, the ambition is laudable, but doing it now is completely inappropriate. And Richard makes a really good point about the revenue coming in from this. I mean, the ROC did a, a, a calculation just after the expanded zone of 20 uh, in inner London was done. And that the fines um, for non-compliant cars in the eight months after that zone was introduced 1.6 million mm. fines for between 80 and 150 quid, depending how quickly you pay it. Now, this zone is going to be three times as large. So are we going to see 200, 250 million in fine revenue? And is that part of the business plan? So I would say it's a good scheme in principle, but now is definitely not the time. Richard, very, very quickly, when is the right time then? I'm not sure that we need this because it creates an artificial barrier between London and the rest of the country. I don't think we need it at all. The government has the ban on diesel and petrol cars in 2030. That's bringing changing motoring uh, habits. Uh, I don't think we need it at all. You don't think we need it at all. All right, thank you very much indeed. Good thank to you, see you both. Quentin, thanks for joining me.